have Lucy Grant, Team GB sprint cyclist, um, here speaking to us. Just, um, you know, welcome to the team, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm really pleased to be part of your team and be working with you guys. Um, we're hoping today to speak to you a wee bit about your, your journey to where you are now, um, and particularly in light of it being Women and Girls in Sport Week 2020. Um, so, so tell me, have you, have you always cycled? Um, yeah, I started cycling from a really young age. Um, I think I was really lucky when I grew up, my family were really active um, and we did a lot of like, outdoor activities and stuff. Um, and especially where I grew up, there was a lot of, um, it was really easy to access a lot of sports. Um, and I started out doing cycling, obviously, but I also played netball. A lot of the girls I know in cycling have gotten into cycling because their family cycles and it is often sort of dads and brothers or whatnot that are into cycling and um, you know sort of girls get into it through, through that way do you think you would have gotten into cycling anyway I would like to think I would have based mm -hmm. probably on where I was growing up even if my um, parents didn't do it that I would have but um, I can't be sure for that obviously no of course yeah so d did you have friends at school that cycled or was this something that, that was quite special to you and unique to you or um, I had a couple of friends that cycled, but mainly my friends who cycled I met like through the sport and they weren't mm -hmm. entirely people that I was um, going to school with. So it was kind of something I did away from school. Mountain biking, I was cross country. There was like um, some race at Glen Tress and my mum and dad entered, it, entered me into it just for a bit of fun and I absolutely loved it. And ever <laughs> since then I was hooked. So my first race when I was seven, but I just absolutely loved it. It was just like the fun aspect of it. There was never mm -hmm. like, like the aspect of like oh this is what I want to do I really want to compete it was like this is so much fun I absolutely loved that as well I just loved how like how diverse it was it with the running and the hurdles and the mud the mud was always um <laughs> favorite part for me <laughs> um so how was your first goal in the velodrome um well I was really fortunate because I was on the Scottish cycling program um, for mountain biking I was able to get with the the track program mm -hmm. so I was able to go on with um them and I was on with like a lot of really competent riders and they were all really good knew what they were doing which was really reassuring for me because it was like people who were there to help me to learn almost because I mean I knew, know that I came from a cycling background but the ability to ride a bike felt like the only um, skill that was transferable because everything else was just so different. So do you have any advice about um, you know for, for women that might be new-ish to the sport but might want to start thinking about competing? Yeah yeah um, I think the best place to start is like um, making like getting contact with like a local club or organization or someone like mm -hmm. that because obviously to compete you need to be part of a team or a club that are like registered and um, to allow you to compete so finding one that's local to you or one that your friends go to or something is a really good place to start and that can help be like a stepping stone to get you into competing mm -hmm. and then it's just entering races and just having fun I think um, the more race experience you get, the better. And it's one of these things that you can't really learn other than just doing it. Like there's only so much you can learn through training and stuff, but just getting out there and getting fully immersed and involved in it is probably one of the best ways to go about it. And I know that sounds quite overwhelming because you do kind of get thrown in at the deep end, but you do need to start somewhere and to just take that first step and enter a race is just, it's really good. And afterwards you'll just, feel so happy because it's such a good feeling. I think that any form of like physical activity or any sport at all at any level is just um, really good for everyone's mental health and well-being in particular I find if you can get outside and do some form of that exercise it just makes it even more beneficial um, and I just think that's so important especially in times like these when we've been in lockdown and everyone's stuck inside and stuck with the same people it can just be so draining and I think to just get out and do something even if you don't feel like it at the time, it can make you feel a hundred times better in the long run.